Cancer definitely has a potential to cure many life threatening ailments like leukemia, the non Hodgkin lymphoma, anemia, thalassemia, lifestyle disorders like uh, diabetes, liver disorders, and heart disease. So, what is the source of this stem cell? We do have various uh, sources of the stem cells, but the best and the very easy source of uh, stem cell is the cord blood. Cord blood uh, banking helps us to acquire uh, stem cells which can be stored so that they can be utilized at a later period. Now, who can utilize these stem cells in the cord blood? It could be the siblings or any other family member or even somebody who is not related to the particular uh, donor of the cord blood. So, we need to understand that cord blood banking is one of the easiest and the non-invasive method where we can the best resources of stem cells which can be utilized in the present day research. And uh, it, we need to understand this is once in a lifetime chance with the uh, small child norm, one child norm where people are adopting only, uh, like they are planning to have only one baby. So, it's the one only chance to uh, store the cord blood. Now, uh, actually in the European countries we have got something like the public cord blood banking and then the private cord blood banking. In our country, because of the very huge population and uh, we have got so many other medical problems, so right now the government is not able to afford public cord blood banking. And some of the private cord blood banking have come up, which have given op options to the patients and the parents so that they can store the cord blood for future use. And definitely maybe a day will come when public cord blood banking will become the norm of the day even in our country. because. With the advance in the research, we find that stem cell therapy has come to stay in so many disorders, especially now the diabetes, you know, it's the, our country is going to be one of the biggest uh, diabetic uh, center in the whole world and Hyderabad is a diabetic capital. So, we need to look at the cord blood banking with a different uh, and a new perspective. It's something that has come to stay. Right now, maybe the cost effectiveness is a matter of concern, but maybe in due course of time, it may definitely come down where it will become affordable for all the patients. But definitely if people can afford it, there's nothing like that because there's still research is going on for spinal cord injury, stroke, cardiac disorders, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, muscular dystrophy, and Parkinson's disorder. And uh, few people are doing research even on Alzheimer's which is a geriatric problem which is increasing even in our country. So cord blood banking is definitely and very important uh, and a very easy way of uh, uh, storing stem cells which can be used at a later stage.